What's up everybody, it's Silent Viper here, bringing you my Coyote's Revenge Crypt build. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment below. Let's do this. Alright, first off, let's start with the specialization. And for this build, I'm using the Demolitionist. I'm using it for the Brace for Impact talent, which ignores explosions and can occur once every 60 seconds. The Demolition is Tactical Link, which is group members gain 5% damage to targets out of cover. And also for the Small Laser Pointer, which gives you 7% crit chance. Alright, my first weapon is my CMMG Banshee, with 15% SMG damage, 20% crit hit chance, 10% critical hit damage and strained. Strained is gained 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing. Stacks up to 5 times. The attachments I'm running on is the Russian Red Dot Sight. Gives me plus 5 critical hit damage. I'm running the Extended 9mm Mag, which gives me plus 20 rounds, minus 10% reload speed. I'm running the Small Laser Pointer, which gives me plus 7% crit hit chance. And I'm running the Flash Hider 9mm, which gives me plus 5 critical hit damage. Alright, my primary stats for this build are 60% crit hit chance and 166.1% crit hit damage on my CMMG Banshee, along with 50% headshot damage. For my secondary weapon, I'm running my Tactical UMP 45 Replica with 15% SMG damage, 16% crit hit chance, and 11.5% magazine size, and it too has strained. On this, the attachments I'm running is the C79 scope, which is 5% crit chance. And since this fire is a little slower and more accurate, I can use this to zoom in and hit targets that are farther away. And it takes a lot less damage drop off. I'm running the oversized 45 ACP mag, which again is plus 20 rounds, minus 10% reload speed. The small laser pointer, which is 7% crit hit chance. And the flash hider 45, which is plus 5% crit hit damage. For the sidearm, I'm running a double barrel shotgun with 60% shotgun damage, 12% damage to armor, and 10.8 reload speed. It too has strained, and I'm mainly running that just for when NPCs get close. Now, first piece of gear is the new exotic mask, the Coyote's Mask. And this is what gives my build the versatility for weapons. It has 15% weapon damage, 4.7% critical hit chance, 10.4% critical hit damage, and the mod is an 11.6% crit hit damage. And now the talent on here is the kicker. It's packed instincts. You and all allies gain a bonus base on the distance of the last enemy you hit. Now for my SMGs, it works great for the 25% critical hit damage at 0 to 15 meters. Because they already have high crit chance, so I'm not worried about getting that extra chance. Like with the 15 to 25 or the 25 plus. Now for LMGs... The 15 to 25 is great for that extra 10% critical hit damage and 10% crit hit chance. And then the 25 meters is great for the marksman rifles and the rifles with 25% critical hit chance. And those three buffs are what gives the versatility for the weapons. For a backpack, I'm running the Devil's Dew, which... Stacked one piece gives a 10% crit hit chance. On it, I have 12.1% weapon damage, 12.5% weapon handling, 10.9% critical hit damage, and the mod is a 19.3 incoming repairs defensive mod. And along with that is the talent perfect clutch. If you are below 20% armor, critical hits repair 2.5% missing armor. Kills allow you to repair up to 100% armor for 4 to 10 seconds based on your 
offensive core attribute. Now for Vest is my first piece of Sokolov, which gives me 10% SMG damage. On this is 13.1% damage, 3,917 HP per second armor regen, 12% crit hit damage, and an 11.7% crit hit damage mod, along with the talent obliterate, critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1%, for five seconds stacks up to 15 times and my gloves will be my second piece of Sokolov which will be my firm handshakes and those give me critical hit damage 15 percent now the attributes are 11 percent weapon damage 10.5 percent status effect and 11.9 critical hit request. damage Now my third piece of Sokolov will be a holster, which gives me 10% critical hit damage. Its attributes are 8.1% weapon damage, 10% hazard protection, and 10.8 critical hit damage. And my final piece is my group of Sombra uh, knee pads, which one piece gives you 15% critical hit damage. Its attributes are 14.5% weapon damage, 6% crit hit chance, and 11.8 critical hit damage. Alright, my first skill will be my explosive seeker mine with a cooldown of 32.3 seconds and 1.2 mil damage for PvE. And PvP damage is 216k. First mod is 4.8 skill haste. Second mod is 3.2% damage. And the third mod is 5.9% health. Now my second skill is my stinger hive with a refill speed of 6.4 seconds. It has 12 charges in a range of 8 meters. Uh, damage is 347k and PvP damage is 55k. The first mod is a 4.7 damage mod. The second mod is a 6.7% health mod. And the third mod is plus 4 stinger charges to give me that 12. This has been Silent Viper. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment below. Oh, hello. Now uh, they trying to be a badass. I do trying to be a hero. <laughs> that dude's dead. Hound's laying down. And how's done.